This lens is going to let me take photographs that I haven't been able to take with my current with my current maximum focal length of 200 mil. This is the Sigma 150 to 600 mil contemporary lens, and it's very popular with sports and wildlife photographers. But this one, my one, is going to be used for one purpose only, and that is photographing the moon. So I'm going to affectionately call this my moon bazooka. <laughs> into this lay-by which is pretty close to the shooting location for later on so hopefully I can get some sleep in the van roll out of bed go and get the shot and then roll back into bed The thing with these moonshots is that you need everything to be perfect. The focus, the settings, your position, the weather. There's just so much stuff that can go wrong. Just, oh, But, uh, ah, I need to get some sleep. Okay, so you're not going to be able to see this, but the the tower is like right. Oh, maybe you can see it. The tower is right there, and the moon is going to boop, 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 the moon is going to move behind that tower. And in typical fashion, there's not a single cloud in the entire sky. Look, except for over there. <laughs> Okay, so I think I've got my position to get the moon perfectly behind the tower. I'm exposing for the moon, so I'm about f8, ISO 100, and 1 over 10, 1 over 20 seconds. And for me, the most important thing is that the moon retains all its detail and the tower can just be a black silhouette. I don't need detail in the tower. Anyway, I'm going to shoot some 4K video using the Sony, so I'm going to swap the Canon with the Sony I'm currently filming the vlog on. There's a little bit of cloud that has just rolled over the moon and it's ruining the shot. No, oh, please get out the way, cloud. Get out the way, cloud. Come on. Are oh, you kidding me? Come on, go. Come on, come on. Three minutes, three minutes. Ah, oh, this is so tense. Come on, come on, come on. There's like, ah, one minute. Please, cloud, please, cloud. I post this image on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. There is no way I could portray this adrenaline, this tension, this rush that I just went through. Hold 
on, hold on, we're not done yet. It's three days later, we've got clearish skies forecast for the full moon rise. This is the harvest full moon. So I've got my composition set up. I've spent a lot of time planning this one. And there's a little bit of cloud behind the mountain that I'm aiming for. So I might not be able to use a long a focal length as I was going to go for. I was going to go for like 600 mil, but I probably have to come down to 400 or 300 mil. And it's probably easy if I just show you what I've got here. Okay, so I've got the Sigma 150, it's a 600 mil lens, otherwise known as the Moon Bazooka. I'm going to use the Sony A7S camera on there to record a 4K video. And I've got the Benro Mark III tripod, super sturdy. I have so much faith in that thing and I'm going to hang my bag from there for a little bit of extra stability. On the other side of the reservoir, 2.05 kilometers away, up on that hill by the trees, is my friend Gareth. He's going to feature in this video that I'm going to film. 18.34 kilometers, you might be able to see the mountain known as Sugarloaf in the Brecker Beacons. And then the moon is going to rise behind that at 7 minutes past 7 precisely. And the moon is 384,400 kilometers away. Everything's going to come to line, hopefully. This cloud is lingering on the horizon. I hope it disappears. But fingers crossed, wish me luck. I need to set up, I haven't got much time. Wish me luck. All right, so that went okay. It definitely could have been worse, but I was hoping for better. There was a lot of cloud on the horizon, which meant that I didn't see the moon until five minutes later than I expected. This also meant that I had to zoom out. I really wanted to get the 600 mil full on, get, get the moon as big as possible, and so that you could see Gareth driving up and taking his own photos of the moon. But thank you so much, Gareth. I really appreciate you coming out of your way to get up there and be the subject of this photo. Just letting this time lapse finish, and then I need to pack up quickly. I'm going to run around these trees, back down the mountain, get in my car. I've got an hour's drive to get into position for a moment when the space station is going to fly across the face of the moon. So stay tuned. <laughs> Can't take what's in 
The time is now 21.08 at precisely 21.1905 seconds. The International Space Station should pass in front of the full moon. And hopefully I'll be able to get it with my cameras. So I've got my intervalometer plugged in. I'm going to shoot at continuous shooting mode, shooting stills. And hopefully I'll hit the button at the right time. 30 seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Holy shit, I saw it. It was fast, it was really fast. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, come on. Ooh, that was insane like I zoomed in on the moon and waited until it sort of came onto the moon there was no other way to see it and it just whoo, flew past the moon whoa astrophotography is normally really slow and enjoyable and therapeutic but when you get a super zoom the moon bazooka and you zoom in on the moon I guess intense, I guess the heart going. Whoo, that was fun. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Your comments are giving me so much motivation, They're helping me make these vlogs better. So I appreciate every single one of them. And if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon, I wish you good luck, clear skies. And remember, if you need the clouds to get out of the way, just tell them to fuck off. Come on, fuck off cloud. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Come, come on, come on, come on. Move, move.